I'm packing up. I'm leaving Virginia. I'm very excited for this new adventure. Journey. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, we really gonna do this. We really gonna do this. So last year when I was moving, I don't know if I told y'all or went into depth with it, but I was just so afraid. Like I just had so much fear. Check up on it. Good morning. So I am just now leaving the gym. My terrain race is literally a month away. Um, I have no time to play. Literally, it's a terrain race. Like we're gonna be climbing up hills, climbing up rope thingies. I, I can't climb a rope, but I can climb the little rope net. It's a net. I'm going through the mud pit and everything. So I'm very excited about that. Um. I have a month to get my life together. Like I've been slacking all year. Life has been life in, and y'all, y'all know about it or whatever. I, I told y'all some of the pieces, but I'm in the process of moving. I'm packing up. I'm gonna show you guys that. Like you'll see a little insert right here. I'm packing up. I'm leaving Virginia. I'm very excited for this new adventure. Um, I watched something yesterday, and it was just like when you've been called to go somewhere else that you haven't been before um and you have that little bit of fear that not like it's a little bit of fear and nervousness and you just like and you, it just keeps coming in your mind like pressing you pressing you pressing you you just have to go by faith and i'm literally going by faith y'all like i'm going by faith um I, i'm believing that the lord is going to see me through he is a provider so i'm not really worried i am a tad bit nervous because um I've never lived anywhere other than Virginia. Well, I, I was born in Connecticut, but that's besides the point. My daddy was in the military. I only stayed there for like a year. But I'm a Virginia girl, Virginia all the way. I just know that Virginia is not like the end all be all place for me to live. I wanna see, I wanna live in different places. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm excited. I stayed prayed up about this. Um, I'm just excited but I was in the gym this morning and this older african-american male was just sitting on the machine that was in front of me facing me and he just sat there and I, every time I looked up he was just like and I'm just sitting there like I'm on the treadmill y'all it wasn't even like I was doing like a workout wrong I'm on the treadmill listening to my twerk music <laughs> but you always got that one little creepy guy he might not have even been looking at me but he was looking in my direction it was like he was literally right in front of me so i'm like anywho i'm gonna go ahead home and work and then and pack some boxes i didn't realize i had that many dishes and stuff i forgot that people sent me stuff so let's go pack so lord i'm not paying attention um today i'm here to say I'm driving, but I am now officially, unofficially a Charlottean. Uh, I am moving to Charlotte. It's something that I have prayed over. I've really wanted for a very long time. I wanted to move out of Virginia, just didn't know exactly where. At first, I wanted to go to Atlanta. I've always wanted to go to Atlanta. Um, it's like the hair capital, the hair mecca. But now that I don't want to actually do hair for a living, um, I decided to uh, do something different. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited. These next three vlogs will be about me apartment hunting. So, what? finally doing it by the end of may like i told y'all <clears throat> well I'll, t I'll keep telling y'all later on throughout the video um or the videos but i'm taking y'all back 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 and because i haven't been doing videos consecutively because i've been trying to get my life together because my lease is up at the end of may and i finally found a place got approved went through the approval process um so now we just, we're just here. Um, I'm very excited for this. Um, I'm a tad bit nervous. I'm 
my therapist said it is okay to be nervous like you've never really left Virginia to live like I'm from Virginia Beach I'm a beach girl went to Virginia State University as you can see I got my colors on today and I was in the Petersburg Richmond area for like eight years and I came back and I lived in Richmond as an adult this time for a year and it was totally different but I proved to myself girl you're out here you're the you're an adult you can do this like I had so many doubts who the police out here y'all because people want to see their moms um I proved to myself first and foremost that I could do it and then another thing was I knew it wasn't time for me to leave the state last year when I moved out of my mom's house because I was doing it for other people. I was doing it to make other people proud. I was doing it to make other people happy. But one thing I learned about myself this last year, you can't try to make nobody else happy. If I would have known there was a Duncan up here, I would have never went to Wawa. I'm pissed. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, that's what I was saying. I proved to myself that I am stronger than what I think. I don't want to play the, the strong black woman because we get weak sometimes too um but i hope you guys enjoy my journey it was a lot of ups and downs you'll see that in the videos um yeah i'm excited to bring you guys along on this part of my journey like i always say you guys i'm happy for you guys to be here go ahead and like comment and subscribe because i'm interesting sometimes i'm entertaining and call a friend. Tell a friend to get with my friends. So Y'all can watch me all day. But yeah, so I will see you guys later once I finish moving because the moving starts next weekend. And I'm probably not gonna be able to talk to y'all like that. So I'ma just get these videos together and see y'all when I see y'all. So y'all can see where I'm going in Charlotte, what I'm doing. Uh, of course, I'm not going to show you my actual apartment. Um, I might do an apartment tour but or an apartment reveal, but I probably won't because I don't want y'all finding me. Some people are like that, okay? Y'all know. But I will see you guys later. Today is the first day that I can honestly say I'm going to my new apartment. Um, I'm headed to Charlotte right now. I don't know if you can see it, but my whole car is packed. Um, so I'm taking stuff down there today when, while I get my keys and pay my deposit. Um, and then I'm going to come back next week with the U-Haul. Um, so I'm just bringing you guys with me so you can see like everything, the nitty gritty, everything I had to do to like get myself together for this. Um, I'm very excited, very, very excited, um, <clears throat> to say the least. I had a nice little hiccup yesterday, but I'm just grateful that the Lord be like putting stuff in front of my face because my lease, my lease agreement has said I owe one thing and then my welcome um, packet said another. And I'm like, all right, so the math ain't mathing. So I looked at the math and I had to break it down. So I, like for those that are like out there getting their first apartment, always read the lease to its entirety because there might be some kind of discrepancy 
and once you sign the lease you're locked in so basically the lease said something smaller uh, an amount that's smaller than what I was originally told and I'm like okay I'm trying to go with what the lease said so I called them before I signed it and they said no you owe the higher amount I'm like that ain't right the math ain't mathing so what I did was <clears throat> I went ahead and did the calculation and it was supposed to be the lower amount so I called them yesterday and I had them walk through it and they said oh you're right our system just didn't calculate it right thank you Jesus I literally prayed so hard why are you on my butt now I gotta slow down I hate when people drive ridiculous now like it's a truck in front of me where was I gonna go And he riding everybody's bumpers. He will be safe out here. But anyways, so I gotta pay the lower amount. Um, their system messed up. So it might not even be a human error. It might be like computer error. So always read your, your lease to its entirety because it is a contract. And breaking contracts are is very hard. So that's lesson number one. But I will con I will let y'all know when I get there. I will show you my apartment. Mm, I'll show you a piece of it, but I'm not gonna show you everything just yet because I, I still wanna get some stuff. But maybe sometime in the summer you guys will see the full apartment. But other than that, see y'all later. So I can drive safely. Good morning, guys. Oh, I can tell I lost weight in my face. So I'm um, leaving the trash cans, as you can see. I'll probably be back to the trash can before I leave. <sighs> but I wanted y'all to see the Hotel Richmond. I look busted, but y'all can see it's pretty well. Oh. Waking up and seeing that great view. It was a great. This is a great place for your starter home, or where I stayed at. It's great for a starter home, but other than that, like if you're fresh <clears throat> in college or whatnot, this is a great place for you. But as a person that's not in her college days anymore, um. Like to have fun. But I like to have mature fun. Like people know how to hold their liquor fun. Like people don't get into fights when they go out fun. Or like being inconsiderate to my neighbor's fun. I'm past that stage, you know? But we're about to go move some boxes and bubble wrap some stuff because tomorrow is the day. Right here that I gotta drive. Um, 
praying, praying, praying. But I'm headed back to. So, oh, so they sent me my like I wanted a truck in Richmond because that's where I live. So I'm currently I'm leaving Prince George's County, which is like I'm gonna say 20 miles south. I'm like, can I get compensated for having to drive out my way because they didn't have trucks where I needed it to be? And they was just like, yeah, we'll take um, $20, $20 off. Okay, that's fine. Save me $20. So I'm currently headed back to Richmond. I left Smokey, aka my car, at the U-Haul place because it makes no sense for my car to keep going back and forth. Plus, nobody else is here right now. My family is actually on their way to Richmond to help me move all of my stuff out of my first apartment. Oh, it's so crazy. Like, I've grown so much in the last year. In one mile, take a slight right turn to merge onto I-95 North toward Richmond. Siri, I heard you, sis. I know where I'm going. But, um, pretty much, I've grown so much in the last year, and it's just amazing. Oh, gas 440 right here. It's just amazing. Um, oh no, it's ducks. Hold on, y'all. Uh, the ducks. Well, the geese. Go ahead and cross. <laughs> yes, guys. So it's amazing to see the growth that I've been through or feel the growth that I've been through the last year. Growing isn't fun. Let, let me tell y'all. Growing is not fun, but it's necessary. Um, I feel like I'm a better person. <laughs> I feel like the Lord is like really working with me and working on me and I'm very grateful. And I'm excited for this new journey. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, we really gonna do this. We really gonna do this. So last year when I was moving, I don't know if I told y'all or went into depth with it, but I was just so afraid. Like I just had so much fear in me to take that leap I was just like well what if this happened and what if I don't want to have to come back home that's to me that was just failure I was just afraid of failure and then one day I woke up this year and I was like girl you really did that you paid all your bills for the last year rent and all the big big adult things and you went on trips you did the damn thing. So sometimes you just got to pep talk yourself and remind you of how far you've come. Because, baby. Go past this light, then use the right lane to take a slight right turn to merge onto I-95 North toward Richmond. All right, Siri. But, no, seriously, like, I'm very excited for what's to come. I have friends and family in Charlotte or around Charlotte. So, like, I have no fear, like... I'm a little nervous because it's, you know, it's an unknown territory, but I'm excited. So I'm going to stop rambling because I got to go pack up my house for real, for real into this truck and start a new journey. So let's go. So, everybody's starting to stroll in here. My brother got here first. My mom and my cousins just got here. And then my other cousins are supposed to be coming. So, it's getting real.